number 24, book one, box.
what about your plate in both Prevet and Luke that you have either reef? Okay, it's always, you know, you never fluctuate and I sometimes hear because you, yeah. you take a bit, but it's good because you live with the reef. Now, with Bach, you know, we have to play Bach on modern instruments. They don't sound, modern piano doesn't sound anything like Before. the instruments that Bach was yes. playing. You know, there was no piano to start with, or if they were prototypes, they were not the same. But at the same time, when we say this, we forget that all other instruments did exist. There was organ the same way we know it now. There was the same violin, the same flute. Everything else was the same. So if we can do parallels from what instrument other than pianos that we have to use now, we would play certain piece by Bach, this makes our lives easier. Generally, you know, we like to generalize and so, like we take preludes and fugue and they generally f fall in two categories. One is organ, when there are long sustained notes and everything floats, but because organ is basically, it's a woodwind instrument, you know, winds. Some, some pipes are wood, some pipes are metal, but it, it has unlimited sound because it's pressed by air. <coughs> so this is one thing. Second, string instrument. String, well, no, I'm running too much ahead because I, I meant to say organ and harpsichord. Harpsichord, fast, virtuosic, no sustained at all, opposite. You know, it's just a no, no dynamics. But if we go further, we can divide into organ pieces. Organ falls into all kinds of winds. But we also have great expressive tools, violin strings. So if we take this particular prelude in fugue, you know, arguably the prelude is organ. Why? Because we have those very long sustained flying. not only Bach, but lesser musicians. How could it be possible? But at the same time, we're not surprised to see jazz musicians improvise. Why? Because they have certain elements, you know, they have certain chords to go, certain, you know, basic, you know, things that do it. And to improvise a fugue, it's when, like, here are four voices, there are four musicians who come together and improvise a fugue. But, you know, as editors, of course, helpfully put those double slurs, yes, it's string playing. It's undoubtedly, you know, this is... Suggest that you know 
you can go without, but it's easier it gives additional expressivity. So basic building blocks here in improvisation. Yeah. It's musicians kind of, you know, you have four people who come together to improvise. Theme, counter theme. Also, you have a sort of, you know, fill ups which are very typical and which, which make it easier to improvise. <laughs> So themes, solo, element, when everybody plays together, set up chords, it's like a... Yes, when there is a theme, and basically the others, the other musicians are playing fill up. This is also it's unimportant. What's important? And yes, and then when they start passing to each other. Like in jazz, you know, the moment when everybody gets solo, you know, you you uh, blink to double bass, he plays something, then percussion, then guitar. And when we have, you know, those giant in terms of Bach, in size of Bach, not giant in yeah. terms of Rachmaninoff, but in Bach. So what's important for me? Gently 
pulls your head. <laughs> because we will have accompaniment in left hand, in melody in right. But here actually the most important is not here because you see this is not really, it's just secondary to this yeah. line, right? It's, you know, it's contemplative, it's, you know, like emptiness, 
everything. It's not a happy melody yeah. here. It's just it's a, like Bach check or you know violin solo. Think of it. This you can do with pedal. Yes, yes. <laughs> You know, it's Bach, it has to wear a wig, it has to be wear. It's actually, it is improvisatory Bach. Okay? Okay. Okay, we, we don't have much time. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you. But thank you so much. Thank you.